Hey everyone, welcome to Connect. Your Connect small group is gonna get together in five minutes. Your Connect small group will get together in four minutes. Say hi to your small group leader. Your Connect small group gets together in three minutes. Start cleaning up your games. You've only got two minutes left. It's almost time, just one minute left.
Hey everyone, I'm Tony. And I'm Kat. Welcome to Connect. We are so happy you're here. It is great to see you. But before we get to the fun stuff, we've got a few rules to go over. These rules are here to help you and keep you safe. Kat, do you want to start? I'd love to. First up, rule number one. Listen to your small group leaders. Respect them and obey what they tell you to do. The grown-ups are here to help you, look out for you, and keep you safe. Next up. Rule number two. Be a good friend. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. Remember the way that Jesus treated others. He always used kind words and showed respect and love to those around him. He'll help you do that too. Be on the lookout for people that are here for the first time. If you're a good friend to them, it'll make their day. We've covered the first two rules. You know what that means. It's time for rule number three. Have, Have fun. fun. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Me too. It's always so much fun getting to come to Connect and spend time with your friends. All right, let's put on our glasses and see what's coming up next. I already wear glasses. Oh. Giving is a lot like planting a sunflower seed. Huh? What do you mean? Think about it. You could eat a sunflower seed if you wanted, right? But then you wouldn't have any sunflower seeds left. Oh yeah, that's no fun. But if you plant a sunflower seed, it will grow into a sunflower that makes a lot of seeds. Okay, that makes sense. But what does that have to do with giving? Say you have some money and you decide to spend it all on candy. Ooh, I like candy, that sounds great. Sure it does, but once you eat the candy, that's it. No more money, no more candy. Oh yeah. But if you could give some of your money to your church and back to God, it can be sent exactly where it needs to go to make a big difference. Really, that's so cool. Yeah, your money can keep on giving by meeting the needs of the church and people all over the world to show God's love. Don't forget, when you give your money to God, you can watch it go and grow. I'll be honest, I used to get kind of nervous about singing and dancing in front of my friends. But then I started thinking about how awesome God is and how he's done so many good things for me. I realized no matter how nervous I feel, God still deserves to be worshipped. So now, I sing and dance to worship God whenever I get the chance. And those nervous feelings aren't such a big deal anymore. You can too. Get up on your feet and let's connect to God together. I lift my eyes to the heavens where my help comes from My hope is found in you, Jesus You're my 
my strength alone. I surrender all, all, all. Whoa.
Mike, I'm heading out for the day. Yes, Edison? Mike, I didn't see there. Clearly, uh, I was testing out these chairs and we've ordered the wrong size, so I'm writing a report. Uh, may I? Oh, yeah, sure. It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I was pretending I was like a tiny person in a giant's world and no. Oh. Hmm. Well, one less thing I have to do. Always happy to help. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Edison. No problem. I am the tiny boss around here. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, my name is Edison, and this is the time we learn how our inside changes our outside. Apple pie day, pie day, pie day. Whoa, what is that noise? What noise? The ping, ping. ping. Uh, oh, that noise, I, I tuned it out. It's my email alert sound to remind me that I have unread emails. Well, when was the last time you checked your email? I check it every once in a while when it's important. <laughs> what? You have. 300 unread emails. Don't you think you should run oh, home? Right, I'll, I'll get right on that. Oh man, this must be what it's like to live in a pinball machine. Oh, are you excited for Apple Pie Day? What's Apple Pie Day? I sent an email to everybody. Oh, right, you probably didn't read it. Oh, right, Apple Pie Day, I, I totally read it. Oh, good. Is there, is there crickets in here? Oh no, that's my new email alert sound. I don't understand why, what, what? You said you didn't like the ping sound, so I changed it to a cricket sound. That's, that's not what I meant, I mean like. There's actually a whole bunch of different sounds to choose from. No, 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 I, Edison, I just, I, Ed, Edison, I, <coughs> bless you? Is this where we go for free apple pie? It is, but I'm still waiting on the last batch of apples. Mike went to grab some for me. Claire, you got my invite! What in this it? You can drop those apples on the counter there. Oh, yeah, sure thing, Elaine. That's Chef Elaine. Right, Chef Elaine. I thought you were gonna bring a friend to Apple Pie Day. Nope, and I don't wanna talk about it, so let's not talk about it ever again. Oh. It's gonna be a while till there's any pie. Y yeah. Maybe you two should go somewhere less busy and talk about things. Oh, right! We should totally get out of Chef Elaine's hair. Claire, would you like to help me with something in the hub? Sure. Come on. Now, Claire, I know you didn't want to talk about this. Okay. If you must know, I really messed up with my friend Bailey. I thought I was the best friend, but I've really made a mess of things this time. I'm not good at being good. What happened? I'm always nice to my friend Bailey when she's around, but whenever she's not around, I talk bad about her. You talk bad about your friend behind her back? Sometimes. I thought it was okay, because she didn't know, but she found out, and she called me a fake friend. I'm sorry, Claire. She's right. I was being a fake friend. That's the problem, Mike. I always try to be good, but sometimes I feel like a fake. Claire, do you know what character is? Like a character in a book? No, character's who we are on the inside. Our character shows through the things that we do and the things that we say. My teacher sometimes talks about that. She says our character is who we are when no one is watching or listening. Exactly. But there's a thing called godly character. That's what I want. I try really hard to be good, but I can't be good. The good news is the Holy Spirit can help shape who you are on the inside so that you act and say things in a godly way. Maybe this verse in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16 can help. Say it with me like this. Galatians 5.16. Galatians 5.16. Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Live by 
the Holy Spirit's power. So you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. So you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Trying to be good or pretending to be good isn't going to work. It may look good on the outside, but you need to change what's on the inside. The Holy Spirit can lead you, teach you, and help you say no to the wrong choices you make. Godly character. Exactly. That gives me an idea, but I need Shuffleane's help. Edison? I got an email that my friend is having a pool party tonight. Yeah, I, th I can see that. You're a little late, buddy. No, it's in a few hours. Yeah, in a few hours a year ago. That invitation's from last year. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm really sad about that. No wonder why he was asking me where I was a year ago. I just told him I was busy. Perhaps a new alert sound. What? Edison, no. You could just try, I don't know, answering your emails. So what do you think? Will you help me fix my problem with my friend Bailey? Sure, but first, hand me that trash can. I'm new to cooking, but... Is this how you make apple pie? By throwing the apples in the trash can first? Can't make apple pie with bad apples. But they look fine. Sure they look good on the outside, but on the inside they're bruised and not very tasty. Feel this one. You can even see it coming through on the outside here. So it's like the apples are faking that they're good. You could say that. I just say they're rotten. <sighs> It's just like what Mike was telling me. Sometimes we pretend we're good on the outside, but it's fake. That's true. He said we need the Holy Spirit to lead us and change us. But Shefflein, there's something I don't get. What is it? How will we know when we have godly character? How will I know when the Holy Spirit is leading me? I don't want to be a bruised apple that only looks good on the outside. Well, it reminds me of a joke. Want to hear it? I love jokes. What's the Holy Spirit's favorite food? Um... I don't know. The fruit of the spirit. <laughs> Get it? It's a chef joke. Actually, I can show you a great answer to your question. Check out the story from the book of Galatians. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. Searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching Read through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive. Galatians. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples, an orange tree naturally makes oranges, and a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. 
But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know! The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas! So our actions, words, and choices are the fruit we grow. And the fruit we grow depends upon who we are on the inside. When the Holy Spirit makes you godly on the inside, you grow godly fruit. That's how we know the Holy Spirit is working. The outside matches the inside. That's godly character. Would you help me stir this pie dough? Sure. I just saw your email. Here's your cookbook. I sent you that email five months ago. I just read it. You can keep this copy. I bought another one while I was waiting for you. I'm sorry, I'm usually very punctual. Your inbox says otherwise. You know, the Holy Spirit can help you with that. What do you mean? If I don't deal with things from the inside, with the help from the Holy Spirit, my character won't be godly. I've learned. Don't fake it. Let God's Holy Spirit change you. Nicely said. Don't fake it. Let God's Holy Spirit change you. Now, if you don't mind, Edison, we've got pies to bake. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. What if we did this every week like Apple Pie Wednesday? No. Oh, that pie was so good. Thank you. The fresh apples make all the difference. Um, so what's that last apple pie for? Did we miss one? No. Chevrolet helped me make that pie for my friend Bailey. I wasn't a good friend to her, and I know one pie won't make everything better, but it's a start. I'm going to give it to her and stop pretending to be good. You can't fake being good. Don't fake it. Let God's Holy Spirit change you. Well, if, I don't know, for some reason she declines your friendship pie, I have a good place for it. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, see, now I check my emails in a timely manner. No more overstuffed inbox for me. Good job, Edison. Who's it from? Uh, the library. It says I've 22 overdue books? I should... Go take care of that. <laughs> I'm Mike, and I wanted to share this answer we found. The Bible tells us this in the book of Galatians. Say it with me, like this. Galatians 5.16 Live by the Holy Spirit's power. Then you will not do what your sinful nature wants you to do. Don't try to be good on your own or pretend to be good. Let the Holy Spirit change you and keep you from making wrong choices. The fruit on the tree tells us what kind of tree it is. And your fruit, your words, choices, actions, demonstrate your character, who you really are on the inside when no one's watching or listening. Without God, our nature is sinful. We can try to be good on the outside, but we need God to help change our hearts so that from the inside out, we can grow good fruit. The Bible calls these the fruit of the Spirit. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Trusting in Jesus, spending time with God, and connecting to His Holy Spirit will change you on the inside, which will change you on the outside. Don't fake it. Let God's Holy Spirit change you. And that will give you godly character and help you bear good fruit. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Oh, 
Edison? Hi, Mike. Oh. Whew. I was I was worried there. I thought, oh, your new alert sound is a little unusual. What new alert sound? My inbox is completely up to date. I don't get any more alerts. Then, what was the... Run! It's gonna eat you first, Stop! Being good on the outside comes from being good on the inside. If you would like God's Holy Spirit to change you and help you grow good fruit, all you have to remember are the A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you would like to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave.